G'day everyone, this is a Gibbs Can't You Down Under with another YouTube video. And Battlefield 1 has actually been caught in sales for the year across all platforms added together. And the Battlefield 1 beats Cotton this year at end of year sales for the second time ever Cotton's ever lost. The only time they ever lost was against GTA 5 when it first came out. And Origin said, said, people from the Origin said, but we're not the COD killer. COD is the COD killer. And I believe that to be true. But listen to the people who play COD for hours upon hours every year. Not the critics who play two to three hours every year and say, well, it was just the same COD reskinned. And everyone with half brain knows that. It's not. You look at COD 4 to AW. Two completely different games. And the rumour is that COD might be going to a two year cycle if the sales keep going down. Because they are saturating the market and I believe this would be good a good idea going to a two year cycle. They could add more stuff into the game and have a four year cycle to make the game be better better polished. Less bugs, and it'll re and people will look forward to get new COD because it's been two years. Not like oh, this is another COD coming out again, you know. And also, people should give Sledgehammer a, a good chance next year in 2017 for their COD. Is because they made all the DLC three um, DLC maps for Modern Warfare three. Encoded most of the game, and Modern Warfare 3 is the number one selling COD of all time. And the people we need to learn is not to blame the people who make the game so much, is, oh, because they, they don't like the game, like Infinite Warfare and such. Is you got to blame more to blame is Activision, because they get told what they want. They are told, we want this, and you make it. App design, whatever, yeah, you can blame the game, the person who made the game, but, but the movement system, the advanced movement system, you can blame Activision for that, because that's what they wanted. And so the game makers like Treyarch, Ada, uh, Sledgehammer Games, and if, Infinity Ward did as they're told. But, you know, and the next COD is supposed to be situated between World War Two and Vietnam. So that'd be good, boost on the ground. But you never know, people probably complain about that too, being too slow. Some people, you're never going to make it, no matter what. Well, that's it for me. I hope you liked the video. If you got any comments or about what I've said, please, um, please comment down below. I'll get I'll get to you as soon as I can and give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and thank you and I'll see you in the next video catch ya peace out Your training is paying off. Yeah.